He's got a whole world in his hands. 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 He's got a little tiny babies in his hands. He's got a little tiny babies in his hands. He's got a little tiny babies. In his hands, he's got a whole world in his hands. What well done, children? Give yourself the champagne clap. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> what well done. You are welcome once again to the Creative Art Lessons. All right, children. I hope you are all well. Well well done. In our previous lesson, we did what? The label. The label, and we wrote the welcome. And I said, you can even write your name. Okay, please, all right, a welcome, and then paste it on your door. Okay, please. All right. So today we are going to do another exciting creative art lesson, and it talks about our environment. Repeat after me, our environment. What do you see in your environment? Our environment is a place that we live. So we can see the stars, the clouds, the sun, the birds, the flowers, the animals okay please so that's what we're going to do today all right so today we are going to design our environment and we're going to design the sun the birds okay please and the flowers or small small ants walking on the soil or on the land okay please well done now, before you can create your environment, like I said, these are the following materials. You need a white sheet of paper, you need a ruler, okay? You need a marker, a black marker, a black marker. You need your paint brush, okay? About three or four of them. And then, as usual, you need your poster colors. So, my red, my yellow, my green, and then the blue. Okay, please. And you also need your pencil to help you to rule your line or to draw what you want to draw. Okay, please. There's a small container here with water in there. What am I going to use it for? In case I want to wash the brush, the paint brush. Okay, please. I dip it in there and I wash my brush quickly. All right. So, without wasting much of your time, please sit, pay attention and watch all the steps of what Mr. Nati is going to do. Okay, please. All right. Now, put your white sheet of paper on the table and then you pick your ruler and position it. We are, we are going to divide the white sheet of paper or the paper into two. The upper part and the lower part. The upper part and the lower part. Okay, please. So gently put your ruler into on the paper like this. And then pick your pencil and divide the sheet through a line to divide it into two. Okay, please. So that's what I'm doing here. Just rule a straight line to divide the paper into two. So you have the upper part and then the lower part. What am I trying to say? This is the upper part and the lower part. And this place is going to represent the clouds. Okay? And this place is going to represent the land or the soil or the place that we can walk about okay please where we can find our flowers and our ants and our animals okay please all right now put your paper back now we are going to paste we are going to paint the upper part of the paper blue okay so i pick my paint brush okay and then fetch my blue paint okay then start you see what mr natty is doing now painting this place blue painted here blue which represent the clouds okay please yes please keep on painting keep on painting keep on painting keep on painting have you seen it Painting the clouds. This is the clouds. Is it beautiful? Yes. Now we're going to paint the lower part here 
yellow okay please yellow so once again i go for my yellow paint so you see it's over here i paint all this place yellow okay i'm painting here yellow 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 everywhere okay Okay, I've done that. So you see children? What I have over here. Can you see? Okay, now what can we see in the clouds? The sun. So we are going to do the sun. Okay, so I put back my paper on the table again and pick my paintbrush. What's the color of the sun? It's yellow. So I make a yellow circle here. Okay. Can you all see it? And I make the sun ray. Okay, please. Can you all see it? Yes. I just want to represent the sun. Okay. Now, what can you see in the clouds? You can see the birds. So I'm going to use the marker. Pick your marker. And we're going to create the birds flying in the clouds or the sky. Okay. Fly away home. Okay. So we're going to make a W but in the slanted way. So like this. Like that. Can you all see it? I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Yeah. A lot of fly in the clouds. Okay, we're done. Can you all see it? Wow. Okay. Now I want us to create a flower. We're going to create a flower. Okay. How do we create a flower? You make three dots. With the red paint. Watch what Mr. Dad is going to do. I fetch red paint and I make three dots. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Last one. One, two, and three. Can you all see it? Three dots with a paint brush. Okay, please. When I'm done, I go for green. I go for green to draw the stack and the petals of the flower. So I go like this. Can you see it? Okay, please. Okay. In the middle of the four the three dots of the flower i can put yellow there or i can put green there or any color or blue just to make it more beautiful okay all right okay so this represents the land then we can make the small small ants let's make small small ants walking going up and down the ants okay we're done so children if you are done you will leave it to dry for a while and then you can frame it and hang it in your room or on your wall for decoration is it beautiful wow so today we did our environment we designed some of the things that we can see 
in the environment. I would like you to sit quietly at home, watch the video, go through the steps, and do one for yourself. Post it on the page and send it back to me, okay, please? All right? I hope you can do it yourself. Well done. So this is the end of today's lesson. I'll be expecting all your assignments. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye-bye.